All right, how can you stay motivated while driving over the road as a Class A CDL truck driver? And the reason this topic came to my mind was because I think a lot of people, a lot of truckers out here, uh, and you could be somebody who is, you know, not a truck driver yet, you're thinking about getting into trucking, or you could be somebody who is driving a truck, you know, and, and this may help you out. Like if you're out here and you're depressed and you're feeling lonely, um, you know, or, or you just have no motivation, maybe this will help you out. I don't know. Uh, I try to do this because, you know, trucking, the, the truth is, you know, it's really fun. It can be cool. Uh, it can be a job that's really exciting and everything. But at the end of the day, once you've been through all the different states and everything and seen most of the country, you have to have more than just, you know, doing the job. You have to have more than that. You, you can't just only drive a truck and just be happy with that. It, it's going to get old. You know, it, it's going to be to where you have to have more than one thing uh, motivating you, you know? So, basically, what I, what I would tell anybody who's getting out here or who is driving a truck and is having this problem with loneliness or depression or whatever, you know, set a goal. Set a goal for yourself. Whatever that goal may be. Let, let's say you, you have a bunch of debt. Let's say you have a bunch of debt. You have credit card debt. You have uh, student loan debt. You have, um, you know, a mortgage, whatever. And, and add that up and see what it is, the total amount. And maybe you could get motivated. You could get yourself on a budget. You could get yourself on a plan to pay that debt off. And let's say you figured out, okay, if I really buckle down and I really hustle out here, you know, and, and say I have, I don't know, $50,000 worth of debt and I need to pay this debt off. Okay, I have a target. I have a goal. I got $50,000 that I need to pay off. So I have a reason to be out here hustling away from my family away from my wife, away from my kids, or whatever, I have a reason to be out here. You know, I can tell my wife, I can tell my kids, hey, I'm trying to pay off this debt. You know, I'm staying out this long, you know, to, to pay off this debt so that we don't have this burden uh, for our family or whatever. So, again, that's just one example. You know, like a mortgage, a mortgage is a big thing. Let's say you don't have any like real consumer debt, like credit cards, student loans, you know, car payments, stuff like that. Let's say you have a mortgage and you just want to pay off your house. Dude, you can get out here and that could be your motivation. You could put all the extra money you can that isn't going towards bills towards paying off your mortgage. That's a, that's a great goal to have, man. You, you can do that, you know, just you just got to run the numbers and see see how much you can actually apply to uh, the principal to pay that off or whatever. You can do that. You, you could be somebody who's trying to start their own business out here. You could be somebody who, man, you want to you wanna buy your own truck and become an owner-operator. Okay? And you want to save up and you want to pay cash for your first truck. Dude, you know, you got you to gotta first find out, okay, how much is that truck going to cost? Uh, how much is it going to cost to uh, to do everything I need to do to get set up to do that? And you, you set a, a number, and that number is your target. That's the amount you have to save to get started. So now you're out here driving with purpose. You're out here driving for a reason. You're, you're not just out here driving and making money, and, and you have nothing that you're uh, you're really trying to do. Okay, let's say you don't want to buy a truck. Let's say you want to buy real estate and invest in real estate. Dude, you know, okay, how much money do you need to get started to invest?
invest in real estate. And I'm, I'm not talking about paying off a mortgage. I'm talking about actually, you know, putting money into real estate to make money on it or as an investment. You know, you just, it doesn't matter what it is, really. The, the long story short, it doesn't matter what it is. You have to have a goal. You have to have a reason to be out here, in my opinion. In my opinion, you have to have a reason to be out here to make it worth it, to make it worth it. Like, there's a lot of people who come out here and get into trucking so that they can save up money to go back to college, so that they can pay cash for college and not take out any loans to do that. That's another great, uh, great option. Because you can save up a bunch of money fast out here. Uh, maybe you just want to get this job so you can uh, invest a lot of money into the stock market and build a big stock portfolio. No, again, the moral of the story, the moral of what I'm trying to say is you have to have something that's driving you. You know, you, you got to have a target to aim at. It's ready, aim, fire not ready shoot you know aim right that, that's the way that's the way people are living their life though they're just going through the motions of life and don't really have a plan they, they don't have anything that they're striving for that is actually worth striving for you know set goals especially if you're out here driving a truck I mean really this rule can apply to anybody or this thing can apply to anybody if you don't have big goals that you're, you know, that you're trying to achieve, if you don't have giant goals that you're trying to achieve, and they're not big, you know, if, if you don't have goals that are big that you're trying to achieve, that you can't set incremental goals and targets towards achieving, you're not going to be motivated in life. Period. You're, you're just not. I don't care who you are, because I used to be that guy, just going through the motion, just living life, you know, go to work, get a paycheck, you know, go have fun on the weekend. I used to be that guy, and I didn't realize, dude, until I was just unhappy, like, I was miserable, and I know I'm, I was miserable because I wasn't motivated by life. I wasn't going for anything. I, I didn't have a real purpose. And so, long story short, again, you got to have purpose. You got to have something that is hard to get, but is worth getting. And you've got to, yes, you've got to strategically figure out how you're going to get there and make a plan to get there. But if you don't have a target, a plan isn't going to do anything. And you getting up in the morning and working really hard, especially as a truck driver, 14 hours a day, 11 to 14 hours a day. And, it, and really, no matter what job you're doing, what career you're in, if you don't have a purpose, dude, you're going to lose motivation. You're going to lose, uh, you're not going to be fulfilled. You're not going to be fulfilled. Okay, so really, no matter what you're doing, think about that, you know. If, if you want to be fulfilled in life, happiness, I believe, is, is, a, uh, is BS. I believe the word being happy is BS because no one's ever going to be happy all the time. It's not, life is not about being happy. Life is about being fulfilled. It is about being fulfilled. How do you become fulfilled? Well, you accomplish things you progress in life. You know, when people accomplish something, when they set a goal and they accomplish that thing, they feel great about themselves. Why? Because they made progress in their life. Okay? And if you're just going through life without no goal, then you're not going to be fulfilled because you're not making any progress towards anything. You're just living life, you know? going with the flow. So that's what I think. And hey, this helped me out a lot. Uh, you know, setting goals for myself, setting targets to hit 
every month, setting a, t a big target to hit every year, setting, the, setting an even, even bigger target to hit in five years and then 10 years. When I first set a five-year plan in place and I actually writ writ wrote that down, I actually wrote that down on a piece of paper and laid it out step by step how I was going to get there, man, it changed everything because then, you know, then I was held accountable. I'm holding myself accountable. My wife does it with me too. We hold ourselves accountable to the goals we set. And so we're motivated. We got to get up. We got work to do. And guess what? We're actually accomplishing things. We're actually moving in a positive direction. So anyway, if you like this content, uh, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. This is a brand new channel. Uh, Living Freed is the channel. And I will be making more content uh, further down the line. Uh, so yeah, please like this video and subscribe and have a blessed day. God bless you to anybody watching this video. Peace out.